Northwestern, protesters have come to an agreement with the university. It's the first school to come to an agreement with the protesters. Our Capitol Bureau Chief Cole Henke is live in our Capitol Newsroom. Cole, what can you tell us about the agreement? Well, this agreement comes after over a week of protesting on the Northwestern campus. Protesters, as a part of this agreement, agreed to tear down their encampments. And in exchange, Northwestern is promising to bring two visiting Palestinian faculty members to campus and offer five scholarships to Palestinian students. The university will also be restarting a new or an old program that gave students a say and some insight into how the university invests its money and into what companies it invests in. Now, I asked Governor Pritzker today about these protests at Northwestern and here in central Illinois. There are anti-war protesters out there. There are people who uh, are anti-Israel and pro-Palestinian, which is different than just being anti-war. Uh, and there are some bad actors, too. There are people who are, you know, yelling anti-Semitic epithets and, and uh, are, uh, you know, and, and have forever been um, bigoted. Now, the governor said his main priority during all of this is just keeping all students on these campuses safe. Now, in response to the deal by Northwestern, prominent groups like the Anti-Defamation League and some Jewish student organizations on the Northwestern campus have actually called for the university president to step down because of this agreement. We asked Governor Pritzker today what his thoughts were on that, and he said that he supports those groups but does not believe that anybody should be stepping down due to what happened on the Northwestern campus. Reporting in Springfield, I'm Cole Hanke, WCIA3, your local news leader.